Hey YouTube, what's up? Thanks again for joining me today. Today we're going to talk about uh, substrates for our aquarium and we're going to talk about specifically pool filter sand. Now pool filter sand is basically a silica um, type sand. It's completely safe for our aquariums. There are a few um, type of brands that they sell out there that are uh, made of zeolites. Those are the ones to, to avoid. Those can be uh, uh, poisonous in our aquariums. Uh, typically in my aquariums I like to use bare bottom but wherever I have quarries at I like to use the uh, pool filter sand because it's a nice thin sand that's not very coarse uh, and it's, uh, it, it's really good for them and when you run bare bottoms with quarries it can be rough on and, uh, and irritate their, uh, the whiskers that they have. Um, one of the places that I did go um, was uh, one of the pool stores called Leslie's that's a, a, a big chain in my area uh, they had the 50 pound bags that they have were about $13 um, typically almost every place that you buy this stuff it's almost always in a 50 pound bag I want to show you how to take this pool filter sand and to clean it really really good so that when you go to put it in your tank you'll get no cloudiness whatsoever put when you pour this in you can pour it in Im immediately um, you'll know when you go to some of the pet places and you try to get some of the aquarium, the aquarium brand sands, that stuff can get very, very expensive even in some of the smaller bags. Um, you'll see in this video that uh, we, the place we finally ended up getting our pool filter sand was from Home Depot and it was just a little over $5 for a 50 pound bag that'll end up going a long, long way. All right, here we are walking into our uh, local Home Depot to find all the stuff that we need. Uh, we're in the lawn and garden department. Uh, we're going in here to find the uh, pool filter sand. Here it is right in front of us. Let's go up here and get a little closer look on it. Okay, here we are in the, uh, the section that has all the uh, grout and all the stuff that goes along with putting floor down. This is the, uh, the mixing paddle that we can use to uh, beat the sand up to get all the junk out of it. You can see here it's a uh, $11.97. Alright, here we are at our uh, local Ace Hardware. We're going to go in here get all the stuff that we need. Okay, so here in Ace Hardware they've got the same pool filter sand. It's a little bit different brand, but it's the same um, silica type sand that you can use. You can see it's quite a bit more here. It's $12.99 for a bag of it. All right, here we are at Lowe's getting ready to pick some stuff up. This place should have a designated parking spot for me because I think I'm here just about every single day. And the filter sand they have here is this Clorox brand uh, pool and spa filter sand. Uh, you see this stuff is only 25 pounds, it's $25. This is the stuff not to use. This is the zeolite, this is not silica sand. This is the kind, this will actually poison your fish, so don't use this. All right, after a hard day of working in the fish room, the place to go is the snow cone stand. All right, here we are. We got our snow cones and heading back home to work. All right, here we are back from uh, Home Depot. We've got our pool filter sand. We've got our grout mixer and we've got our plastic bucket uh, to pour the sand into. All right, so first things first, let's take our grout mixer here and get it into our, uh, into our drill. And it just barely, barely fits this one. Next, let's get our, our bucket over here and let's pour us some uh, sand in here. We're probably just gonna fill it up maybe 15% uh, or so of the uh, bucket. Okay, so now we got the sand in here. Let's get a little bit of water. We're gonna fill it about halfway up with water. Kind of mixing it around a little bit. You can see already that the water is getting really dirty. We wanna get all that, all that excess out of there. And that's probably enough. Now you could just sit here with your hand and stir it around, but that takes forever. So we take this bad boy, and 
and it seriously agitates it. Just a few seconds of that, and then let's dump out the water, the excess we have here. And then fill her up again. Some agitation again. Dump off the water. Got to do it kind of slow so that the sand doesn't all run out. All right, as you can see here, after we've done it about four or five times and dumped the water out, you can see that the water is pretty clear now. This tells me that it's okay for us to go ahead and uh, get the rest of this water out and go ahead and go into the aquarium and uh, begin to put it in. So the first thing that you've got to do is you've got to remove some of the water uh, because when you put the sand in, it's going to displace the water and make it overflow. So depending on how much sand you put in is going to determine how much water you need to take out. Once you have the uh, water removed, you take a cup or a, a bowl or something, scoop up a little bit of the sand, let the cup fall down to the bottom, and then slowly pour, slowly pour it out. As you can see, I've, I've got the sand really clean, so it's just it's not disturbing or causing any cloudiness or anything at all. Keep doing this over and over and over until you have the uh, depth of the sand that you want. You don't want to go too, too deep, probably not more than maybe a quarter of an inch or so so that you don't have any anaerobic uh, spots where uh, bacteria will begin to build up. Again, this isn't something you typically do for uh, uh, planted tanks. This is more or less something to, uh, to give your quarries something to uh, root around in. After you get this done, um, if you still have cloudiness in your tank, as you can see, I have almost none. Um, it'd be a good idea to maybe do a 50% uh, or so water change to try to knock some of that cloudiness down. There you have it, a quick and easy uh, sand substrate at a very uh, cheap price. Well, thanks again, guys, for joining me. It's been awesome as usual. Please leave any comments that you may have or any questions that you may have for me. And uh, I look forward to seeing you next time. Please subscribe um, for the other videos that'll be coming out. Uh, thanks again, guys, and God bless.